minerals it goes with are primarily igneous in their nature, dark, heavy minerals. And the reason for that is, remember the intrusive formations I talked about. So you're going to find things that go along with serpentinite, and you're going to find uh, various forms of magnetite, so very heavy iron minerals, minerals, and that kind of stuff. Uh, it's important to recognize that regime means you should be on the lookout for platinum. You also alloys with lots of other stuff, but only their neighbors mainly. Uh, it also may alloy with rare earths, and that's an important aspect of platinum's chemistry, because platinum, like gold, can be found in alloys that have even more value in today's modern age, considering the increasing uses for rare earths and increasing demands and the restrictive countries that uh, are vying for the material and the political uh, ups and downs of those countries and what it means to the world's economy. So any alloy that has a rare earth associated should set off a bell. Uh, related metals? Gold. Oh. The platinum group we talked about, and so forth. Uh, so, how do you recover platinum? Well, remember density? It's slightly denser than gold. That means gravity still works. And so what's going to happen is, you don't really have to do a whole lot extra for recovering platinum, unless it's alloyed with some of this other stuff. And then I'll talk about that later. It has to do with doing uh, fire assay and uh, chemical recovery process. It's slightly denser than gold means your gravity traps will still work. So your ripples and your sluice, your, your dredges, your gold pans, all these tools that you use to trap gold and also trap platinum nuggets. So remember that. Now, it also means that you need to be on the lookout for the kinds of minerals it's with. But that's another story uh, in terms of for low platinum. So it'd be recovered with your gold and your black sands at the end of your at the end of your recovery process. When you're starting to narrow down and reduce your gold down to the heaviest stuff in there, the platinum will stick longest. Alloys require a special process to separate, as I mentioned. And there's a flow chart, I have to dig it up. And there's info at the end of this uh, presentation about refining. So, what minerals go with platinum? Intrusive minerals, meaning ultramafic. These are things that are associated with basalts, associated with olivines, and, and heavy uh, iron-bearing minerals. And so they tend to be in specific places where there's a real intense concentration of those related things in the platinum group and minerals that are associated with those, and only those. There are, as I mentioned, the extraterrestrial questions, because sometimes this material appears out of nowhere, and the reason, in part, is that, of course, meteorites have been found to have nickel and iron and some associated platinum in them, as well as rare earths and other things. So there tends to be some questions about whether or not the origin of most of the platinum and gold that you find in the earth is actually coming from a rain of meteorites that occurs over uh, millennia. And that's an interesting discussion. Or whether it's actually something that's in the, in the magma itself. The principle being that if it's in the magma, it's eventually going to concentrate in the nickel-iron core of the earth and never come up to a volcano to show its face on the surface unless it's in a plume that was left from a meteorite that impacted. Uh, feldspars and mag uh, magnetic materials, magnetite, remember that heavy, dense rock I had showed earlier? Uh, I don't have it with me right here. Otherwise, I'd show it again. But it's these guys in the neighboring part of the periodic table that give platinum Ruthenium, rhodium, palladium, osmium, iridium, silver, gold, copper, nickel, iron. All those guys have properties that kind of 
basically allow you to test out the platinum. So one of the first things you're going to do to test it is look at your density. Specific gravity of 21 says, okay, and if I can measure